Every year, animals cause an estimated one to two million car crashes in the United States. Those collisions result in expensive repairs, high insurance premiums, human injuries, and a high number of human fatalities. In some of the worst states for animal collisions, there are about 19 deaths for every one million registered vehicles. Fortunately, Arizona is considered a low-risk state for animal collisions. That's due in large part to the fact that for more than 20 years now, the Arizona Game and Fish Department has been working with ADOT and other partners to create safer roadways while at the same time promoting wildlife movement across Arizona landscapes. ADOT, their mission is to get people safely from point A to point B. Ours is to protect wildlife and, and you know, have, so we have wildlife for our future generations. And so when you can work together with ADOT and you can make both things happen for the good, it's a win-win for everyone. The overpass is the first one in the Sonoran Desert. And so we're able to see how it works here and combined with this underpass, which is one of a couple of underpasses in the Sonoran Desert, we're able to see how they work for the species that live in this ecosystem. And so far, they work really well. To date, we have over 10,000 animals that have used these structures. And about 5,000 have used the overpass and about 5,000 have used the underpass. So having the two structures together is really solved the problem here with habitat fragmentation and these animals seem to be readily adapting to the structures and we're seeing over time the use increase so it's been a really effective project for this situation. The end goal really is to have healthy biological diversity in the Sonoran Desert, to save the desert and to save the wildlife that live here. Um, wildlife crossings help us do that. Jessica Moreno is the Conservation Science Director for the Tucson's Coalition for Sonoran Desert Protection. Whether it's wildlife camera trap data or uh, roadkill data or even wildlife sightings that people themselves turn in, all of that helps us not only show that it's working but also show if maybe it isn't working and how we can make improvements next time. Every time we build a structure like this, a wildlife bridge or a wildlife underpass, it's an improvement on previous projects. The data collected is crucial, especially when pre-planning for projects like the Oracle Wildlife Crossing. Data and partnerships are the key to future success. If we want to move the needle towards wildlife connectivity and away from habitat fragmentation in any location and across the state as a whole, uh, it's going to be only possible through partnerships uh, among a diversity of groups. From land management to transportation agencies, uh, it's going to take a whole uh, myriad of, of partners to achieve a success like we had here on State Route 77. The Arizona Department of Transportation has been an important partner with Game and Fish in achieving wildlife connectivity on roadway projects all over the state. Some of the best projects that we've worked on with ADOT have been projects where there's been a new road going in or a recent construction going in. In those cases, it's a lot easier for ADOT to put in wildlife crossings than take a road that's already existing and just put in a structure. So, you know, when you're thinking about wildlife early on, you, it's easier to implement wildlife crossings into those projects. And this is, State Route 77 is a good example of that. Another good example of a successful interstate collaboration to create wildlife crossings is a 15-mile stretch of Interstate 11, three miles west of the Arizona-Nevada state line. So we are standing above Interstate 11, a new section of roadway that goes right through the habitat of desert bighorn sheep. When the Nevada Department of Transportation, the Regional Transportation Commission of Southern Nevada, and the Nevada Department of Wildlife began planning the Interstate 11 roadway, engineers and wildlife officials turned to the Arizona Game and Fish Department. So Nevada, when they initially heard stories of us able to successfully build and monitor a structure, that was the impetus for them contacting us just to say, how did you go about that? 
Chad Loberger is one of the core members of the Arizona Game and Fish Department's highly acclaimed road ecology program. This site was uh, chosen is because it does connect two ridges, um, which are preferred by desert bighorn sheep. It put them up high. They have high visibility of the surrounding area. And in this case, they have high visibility of the overpass structure, seeing that it's a safe place to cross the road, basically. Game and Fish had a successful history with developing three wildlife crossings along Highway 93 back when ADOT first began construction between Kingman and the Arizona state line. Prior to that project, Game and Fish had worked first to capture and collar the bighorn and then monitored their GPS movement data. That eventually helped identify exactly where the bighorn were crossing along that 93 segment of highway. After tracking and monitoring for a couple of years, that information went into ADOT's planning of the new section of the 93 highway and led to the creation of those new wildlife crossings. The result was a dramatic reduction in bighorn vehicle collisions and a change in the way engineers and builders thought about wildlife fragmentation and connectivity. We were able to work with them and say, if you are gonna to put together a package that you're gonna send out to contractors and say, please bid on this project, it would behoove you to put in these stipulations related, in this case, desert bighorn sheep and the monitoring of those structures. So the contractor knows you should count on building this when you build this roadway. In the beginning, I was one of those folks like, seriously, we're creating a bridge for sheep. Does that really like in what world does that make sense? But the reality is, is that in every world that makes sense. Like the importance of that cannot be overstated. I mean, when I went to the first meeting and we were meeting with Arizona Game and Fish, we were like, it, it was kind of a head scratcher. But once we saw what you guys have done and, and, and the, you know, the ideas that you brought for the roadways, it was great and it really worked out. If we want to keep animals connected to the resources they use, we can now make informed decisions to inform that development process. The vision that Arizona Game and Fish had and their expectation of what they were looking for, uh, it, it was correct and it, it worked. It's really heartwarming to see that they're working and also to see through these cameras that the wildlife are here. So even though we're home in our living rooms and we're totally unaware that right outside our back doors, animals are moving um, and thriving, it's, it's kind of special.